Quick life hack. If you uh, want to obtain unlimited infinity water, um, take your kayak or canoe and uh, leave it upright so that the, uh, you know, the well of the, of the canoe is facing towards the sky and wait for a nice rainy day up north in the fall. And you'll have yourself at least eight gallons of water. Who would have thought? <laughs> well, I planned on using this today and I still do. However, she's looking a little full. I'm gonna figure out how to drain this. Now I've got a couple options here. Um, I could remove these wind straps right here um, that are holding down the, the canoe to the trailer and I could tip it over or I could take a Milwaukee and just drill right through like a couple little holes right through there and then it'll slowly drain on the way to the spot today. Um, I'm not really sure which one's more savvy. No, I'm just kidding. All jokes aside, what's cranking wieners? Welcome back. It's good to see you guys. Today's mission is going to be so much fun. Something I've never done before. I've lived up in Maine for Ooh, geez, five years now, I think. I bought this place in 2018, um, and we are in 2024, and I got two kids on the way, so. I mean, you do the math, it's been quite some time. But myself and Caleb are going to hop into this little soggy canoe, and we are going to float down a stream that is teeming full of some giant predatory fish. Matter of fact, what we're fishing for today is basically unmatched for this watercraft. I'm not really sure how many people do this. I think it's quite a few, um, but myself, I've never really had the chance or the opportunity to float down this stream that we're going to float today and catch some of the biggest freshwater fish that dwell in Maine. The fish that we're after today is mean, green, and massive. I'm pretty pumped. Caleb is also pumped too. What do you got there? White monster. White monster. White monster. <laughs> we got a couple white monsters over here. Caleb's also going to be fishing as well. He's obviously going to be helping uh, film and capture today's video, but we're going to put a rod in his hand and see if maybe we can both tag team on some big, mean, lean, green, and invasive giant fish. But first, you need to help me uh, remove all this water. Just gonna take a minute. Almost ready. Keyword, almost. We out here, baby. We made it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying to do less big boat content and fishing missions, partially because you really can't get into places like this with a 19 foot tiller. I love my boat. I love the boat missions. It definitely opens up some wide variety of fishing opportunity. However, the canoe and kayak scene is huge down here in Maine, and I've been trying to embrace it. But today we're not after native brook trout, nor are we even after bass at that. We are currently on the hunt for big toothy predators. I'm not talking about bears. I'm talking about fangs with gills. And uh, this is a section of river slash creek that I've never fished before. Matter of fact, this specific spot we're fishing connects to the ocean, which is pretty wild. In theory, there could be oceanic fish in here. But the main goal today is to get one big bite. And we are starting off with something small. That saying elephant eats peanuts rings true with these fish. And a lot of times people get swept up by using big giant lures, which we might use today. However, um, I've always had best success on small stuff. And uh, Caleb's also gonna be fishing as well, which is nice. We're both gonna be tag teaming on these on these fish. I just don't know where, really where to start. I've never been here before. I fished the lake above this, but never down here. And I'm excited to try something new and bring you guys along with, most importantly. Let's see if we make it happen. But I think you're just so close together, picking oh, us both up. Oh, I got something. First fish of the day. That was quick. I'm not sure what this is. It's a specimen. Oh, it is, I think, maybe the right specimen. It is, indeed. <laughs> well, Caleb, that was pretty quick. That took no time at all. Look at the net. Uh, I don't need a net for this guy. He's already hanging out of the water. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the fish we're after. It's unfortunately not the right size, but it's the right species, which is a very good sign. This right here is the hated, but yet graded, northern pike. It's funny, like everywhere I've traveled up north, Wisconsin, Canada, Minnesota, these, these fish are, na are, are welcomed and they're native. However, in Maine, they are um, not so welcomed. They somehow made their way up here through illegal stocking and they're thriving beautiful little northern pike. That might be the quickest we've ever gotten a video started off. 
and maybe hopefully it's a good sign. It wasn't my first cast. If it was a first cast, it'd be bad luck, but we'll take it. Toothy little dude, and this is just probably like a freaking 14 incher, but these fish get up to 30 pounds, which is nuts. Let's send them right back in the water. Later, I knew he was gonna do that. He wasn't gonna let me have a soft release. Cool, hey, well, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate the view. Be sure to smash that like button. <laughs> that's a wrap. No, that's a good sign though, dang. Let's keep trucking. I'm tuning into the Canada stream real quick. Oh, it's a multi-day tournament? Yeah, today's the final day. Oh, it's two day? Yeah. Ooh, I got something. Oh, what is this? Another pike, dude. It's a better one. It's a better one. Oh my gosh, dude. They're antsy today. These dudes are antsy. That's a nice one. Look at the size of that fish. I watched him come up and eat it. Cool. Still not quite the size we're after, but that's a, that's a quality one. But he freaking, he crunched it up shallow. It's like, oh, what? The trolling motor's moving. I should probably turn that off. There we go. <laughs> this is fun. I swear, guys, when I say we literally just got started, we literally just got started today. Oh, nice fish. A little slime ball. A little slimy dude. Beautiful pike. <laughs> All right, well, the trend is moving upwards, which is nice. We're getting some bigger ones. Beautiful fish, man. It's got, they've got a bad rap, but man, they are fun to catch when the bass and the small ones aren't eating. These guys can be an awful lot of fun, and they get big too. Who doesn't like big fish? I'm gonna get a quick release on this dude. Send him back. Later, Stinky. I'm two for two right now. This is crazy. What's nice too is like, we finally just got fall up here in Maine. And on the drive here, it was absolutely stunning. The leaves are starting to boast their orange and yellow and red colors. And usually when you see that, you need to get out in the water. Like when you get these overcast soupy days, no matter what you're after, whether it be trout, smallmouth, you know, salmon, pike, get out on the water, seize the day, call your boss, say, hey, I quit. Hop in your canoe, start fishing and have fun. I'm excited, dude. This little uh, bladed jig is doing wonders. I got a bladed jig with a Guggen Happy trailer on the back, trailer hook for those short strikes. Sometimes these pike can be finicky and uh, we're just slow rolling this in the shallows. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, there's one. Bass, I think. Bass or a little pike. Don't worry about it. It's a little pike. Little pike or little pickerel? Little pike, I'll be damned. All pike. Three for three, all pike in here. That's crazy. Just a wee little dude. Just a wee little guy. Going smaller now, which is not good. Smaller than the first one, but it's a good sign. At least we're getting bit. This might be the most pike I've caught in Maine in just a matter of like 10 minutes. Snappy little dude, send him back. See ya. There you go. Pike. Caleb's on the board. Nice, dude. That's four pike now. Is it a pike or a pickerel? It's a pike. That was a pickerel, I think. Was it? I think so. I don't know. It's gone now, though. Yeah. Lighter. We didn't want that one anyway. No, that's why I released him. Quick release. It's going to be one on that point right there. Oh my god! Oh, it's not moving. Oh, I just got hit right of the boat. What the fuck? Dude, they're fired up. Get back in there. I got fouled up or grass or something. Caleb oh. just had a, it looked like a decent sized fish come. I think it was a bass. You think it was a bass? I think it was a bass. We're down for anything. I'll catch a big green mouth too. That's cool. Oh. Did you get hit again? Yeah, a little. That was the fifth fish you just had? Yeah, that's nuts. Oh! Dude, you got one. Did you see that? Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> Dude, the fish right now are pumped up at the moment. We're getting some boat side eats. The bites I'm getting are really aggressive and they're all pike, which is just so insane because, I mean, naturally in here, there should be like some, some pickerel, some bass, some smallmouth, but it seems like everything that is fired up right now is the fish that we're after, which is a very rare occurrence. Oh, I saw that. Bass. bass. Dude, awesome. A little green fish. It's a healthy one too. Hold that puppy up for the GoPro. Leb is officially oh. on the board with a nice large mouth. Yeah, it's fat. fat. It's very fat. They're getting that fall feed on, man. It's literally the, to me, this is like the first day of true fall. Leaves turn, got cool last night. A bit of precipitation. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> what was that? I think it was a pike, a good one too. This Keyboard. place is fishy. This place is so fishy. I'm so glad we made the call to come here. I've just never, I've just never mustered up the, the uh, courage to come down here and leave my big boat at home. Oh, I got something. Pike or pickerel? This is nuts. It's another pike, dude. It's another pike. This is absurd. Another freaking pikey. Little guy. Little wee dude. This is, a, as my daughter would call, a DD pike. Oh, Caleb's got a bat. Is it a bass or a pike? Pike. Meep, 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 meep. Later. Later, Stinkus. Look how little this one is. Leb's got a pike too. How many have we caught? This is Actually like seven. Seven now? Oh, that's a pickerel. Pickerel? Was a pickerel. We don't want pickerel. <laughs> we don't want pickerel. We don't want pickerel. So far, we've caught, technically, we've caught zero pickerel thanks to that's both true. those quick releases. I'm gonna Shake back this out. Oh my god, that was a big one. That was a big one. Came oh out my of the water. Dude, that was a giant. I just got gorked. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well guys, I made the adjustment to something that's a little bit more fun. I'm throwing a topwater filthy frog and uh, your boy just got gorked on the surface. That was quite a nice eat. I got to see the whole body on that fish. The bites kind of slowed down a little bit. There was a period of time where, I mean, we're not gonna put them all in the video obviously, but there was a period of time where we were getting um, like a fish every like 10 casts and they were all pike, which is cool. But uh, I'm just trying something a little bit different seeing as we do have some pads over here and I'm running a frog right over the surface and. That was a nice one. I think eventually if we keep getting these little guys to bite, I got to switch to something bigger or try something like this a little bit different. Do a little bit of surface fishing. Almost looks like a pond over here. Yeah, seriously. That point. Oh my gosh, good one, good one. Good one, good one. Better, much better. Oh, get in the net, dude, yes! That's a good one. That's a giant. <laughs> That's a nice fish. <laughs> I'll take the net. Thanks, brother. Oh, finally got a nice one. Just had to upgrade the bait size. Look at that fish. We got our first nice, first nice one of the day. Nice, fat, healthy northern pike. I just had to upsize the lures, and this guy crushed it. Let's get him back in the water. Beautiful fish. There he goes. Wow. it's a nice one. Very cool. My uh, lure is wedged in the net right now, otherwise I'd show you, but we'll, we'll pop a little B-roll clip right here. This is what I um, upsize too. Usually if you're not getting the size like we weren't, it's good to play around with some different patterns and some different sizes of lures. Like if you're getting a lot of fish, obviously on the little stuff, go up a little more. Throw a big glide bait, throw a big whopper plopper, something that uh, is big and obnoxious and those bigger fish are eating. Like right now these fish are getting ready to start bulking up before it gets too cold. Like it's nice right now, I'm in shorts and whatever, but it is it is getting cold, the nights are getting down to the 40s, and therefore that triggers the fish into knowing that, oh my gosh, we gotta stock up for the winter because their metabolism is gonna slow down and they won't be eating as much. These fish are getting fat, they're getting fed, and preparing themselves for the very long northern main winter. Look what that fish did to my freaking lure in my net though. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this lure out. Sheesh. Much love. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's big, but he hammered it. Stay down, little girl. Golly, dude. I got a blip. Oh, it's a decent one. Yeah, it is. Might just do a cool. He just came. Oh no, I thought he came undone. Might try to get him in the bogus because the net is not good. Got another nice one on the big glide. Let's see if I can boga him. Whew, dude, when they hit this thing, it is like a freaking freight train. Absolutely nuts. This is probably our second biggest one of the day. I don't want to put them in the net because, oh, it just came undone. I got him, I got him. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. This guy, just gonna keep him in the bogus. Another nice little pike. Absolutely trucked the glide. The glide bait is so much fun. This is no mega, but we have been seeing some big ones down there. Beautiful little pike. Send him right back. He's gonna spaz probably. Okay. <laughs> what did I say? He's probably gonna spaz? Yeah, he's spaz. All right, well, cool. <laughs> Another nice one. This is the uh, bait that I'm throwing right now. It's 
essentially a small mouth patterned uh, little tiny musky glide, but they love it in here. It stands out in this tannic water. And like I said, these fish are eating big things right now. Like they're eating the chatterbait. Usually if it's a go on the chatterbait and they're crushing that, it's time to upgrade and throw something a little bit more sizable. Uh, Caleb's actually throwing a big top water lure too, so we can get some strikes. We've had overcast all day, so we've really been blessed with some of the fishiest conditions. But this bait's fun. All you gotta do is literally yoss it out there, let it sink for like two seconds, and I'm just going twitch, 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 letting it pause, twitch, twitch, twitch. I'm usually getting the bite on the last twitch. It's like they're chasing, chasing, chasing. As soon as I kill it, it's like their opportunity to just come up and crush it. Pike are ambush predators, so they're down there waiting. They obviously do hunt around and they will like push bait when uh, you know when the time's right. That's insane. But uh, <laughs> but um, a lot of times they're just sitting down there in the grass waiting for something to come over their heads. So that's why it's important to pepper an area, like make multiple casts in the vicinity multiple times. I mean, that's literally right where I just hooked that last one that spazzed out on me. We're gonna get a quick release on this dude. This guy doesn't really, he's not very contingent with the throw big baits, catch big fish idea. However, you know, they're just aggressive. You're gonna have little fish that freaking, <laughs> we're gonna have little fish that absolutely crush uh crush these big glides as well point in case quick unhook there he goes back in the water i know that was some amateur guggen release type stuff but we're not gonna put a slime rock in the boat she's good to go huh. let's keep trucking there you have it just work it like that and you'll get bit sitting down <laughs> that was so funny oh there you go that's a new sound, i think Unless he's got me in some grass, or it's a big one. What's going on here? Oh, that's a decent one. No, that's a decent one. I just felt some nice head shakes there. Oh, he's not that big. Must just have me in some grass. Just a little pip. We're going to get a boat side release on this guy. No point in bringing him all the freaking way up here. It's your lucky day, dude. Quick boat side release. Oh, I thought I had a giant, man. They, even the little ones throw freaking down sometimes. Unbelievable. They're also still loving this twitch bait. Gosh, I, I thought for sure that was a big one. <laughs> I mean, why? <laughs> like, I guess that's what I get, right? Oh, geez. Well, they're still loving it. Take, take a look at this little twitch bait in the water. This is the reason why they're eating this thing. It's got a little curl tail in the back too, so even on a pause, it's still moving. Yeah, this bait's all, it's a good little muscular. It works good for bass too. Walks side to side. Little sinking subsurface bait. Look at that tail. Ooh. It's just that side to side motion that gets them going. I think most predatory fish hate that. Big striped bass, big largemouth, musky, pike, anything that's going like doom, 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 in like a zigzag formation. They really cannot stand it. Pike, especially. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a decent one. Watch your line. Buddy T boned it. Wow. Buddy freaking t bone That's a good one. It's a really nice one. Let me get the bogus on this guy. Wow. I love the eat on these big baits. So much freaking fun. He's going to spaz. He's going to ass spaz. I'm not going to let him know. Oh, got him. There we go. Pliers, my friend. Thank you. Ass spaz. For no reason. He didn't have to do that. That is why you gotta be careful holding these dudes with trebles is because they seem calm at first, they're chill, and then they go What is it? They ass spaz. Like that, like, there you go, bye. Well. <laughs> nice, dude. Let's get another one. He wasn't that big, thankfully. I just gotta stop being a pansy. I need better, better boga grips and I need to, uh, I need to stop being a pansy. There's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh my God, dude, it's a big one, dude. It's a giant, it's a freaking giant, dude. It's a freaking giant. No, I just need the net. I just need the net. Oh my God, dude, it's a really big one. I don't know if it's gonna fit in the net, dude. Oh yeah, it is. I thought it was way bigger. Oh, we got her. We got her. <laughs> Sorry. I thought he was way big. I saw its head. I'm like, this thing is like a 40. It's a really nice one though. It's definitely my biggest stream pike ever oh, big head on her not much in the back end but a big head we freaking did it dude we got the one we're after this is a quality main pike oh my gosh he trucked it all right let's do a little 
a little uh, reconnaissance here. Oh, buddy, relax, relax, relax. That is a nice one. Look how fat he is. He's not very long, but he is f -f 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 fat. Fish have wicked good teeth. You gotta always be careful when you're holding them. Look at the size of that one. Oh, that is why you travel the back dirt roads of Maine, drop the canoe in to a little backwater river system and throw big baits. That is a chunky one. No length whatsoever, but look at the top of that fish. Mm, those are some loins. Beautiful pike. I'm gonna snap some pictures and send her back. Whew. Wow, dude, look at the size of that one. Oh, they're so much fun, dude. Eating big glide baits, peel and drag. That thing went under the canoe like a freaking bat out of hell. Probably, uh, you know, mid, mid to low 30 inch fish. Put it there, brother. Ding. We accomplished what we set out here to do, and that is to show you guys some of the more unique and different fishing styles. This trip has been crazy up here in Maine. We've been on and off up here in the summertime, but this early fall sense has been great. We've caught some smallmouth, we've caught some native brook trout, and now we're catching a fish that is slightly less desirable, but you cannot deny that they are not fun. Throw big baits in little waters and catch big fish. Yo, that was fun. We actually tore them up today. Caught, I think, roughly, what, Kale, between you and I, 15? 15 pikes mixed in with a couple pickerel, and we got some bass that I don't think were on camera, but I'll have to take my word for it. Got one big one too, probably my biggest ever stream pike, uh, at least up here in Maine, and it might be a new personal best, honestly. But this place is so much fun to fish. There is quite a lot of life in here. Although it is invasive and considered to be unwelcomed up here in Maine, there's one thing that is undeniable, and that those fish are not fun to catch. They're a blast. Throw big lures, throw little lures, they'll eat just about everything. Top water, subsurface, baits in the bottom. I've caught them on drop shots before. They're absolutely psycho. And they get big. I think that's what's fun is like you can catch a 25 incher, it's, it's still enjoyable. But then, you know, you're out there hunting for a 42, 43 incher, which is like the legacy class fish. However, we're peace and out, sign out. Yet another canoe mission in the books. If you guys like today's video, be sure to give it a little like, subscribe, and drop me a comment. Let me know about something that happened today that you want to share with the World Wide Web and the public, and maybe I'll comment back. But anyway, I'm Peace Not signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.